What do you think of the absurd pricing for Star Wars Outlaws? Let's use some Frostfire. What do you mean? Is there some kind of weird pricing scheme? <coughs> oh, wait, what? Star Wars Outlaws 110 and 130 dollar editions prompt a collective sigh from potential players tired of season passes and ill-advised early access periods. What the fuck? Anytime I see charts like these, it just makes me think I can't wait to buy the full game for twenty year, for twenty dollars years later. The response isn't exactly glowing on Reddit either, and the critique focused Star Wars subreddit. Uh, if people choose to make what seems like an unwise purchase, go ahead and good luck. But I'll happily hold off. Jesus Christ, that's 176 CAD. That's more than any collector's edition I've seen, but usually that comes with some giant statue of a character. So it's actually just skins in the game? Like Battle Pass shit? Because I remember, like, um... What was it? Was it a Harry Potter game? I don't remember. One of them had, like, a $300 collector's edition, but it came with, like, some giant prop. So, like, that makes sense, kind of, if you're, like, a big-time fan and collector... But 130 bucks for some in-game skins on top of the game? What a bunch of baloney. I don't know about the gamer rods. We'll see. Hey, of course. No, you were great, Bad Company. This shit was fantastic. Thanks again. Most Ultimate Collector's Editions are 120 to 150 Yeah, that's why it was like a headline, though. I'm pretty sure it was Harry Potter, right? It had like the $300 Collector's Edition? Let me see. Maybe it was Dead Island. Well, here's even a list. The top 10 most expensive Collector's Editions games that people actually bought. Sponge well, there's actually quite a few more than I thought. SpongeBob SquarePants Rehydrated Fun Edition, three hundred dollars. <laughs> okay. It looks like you get some cool goodies. Crisis Two Maximum Graphics Edition. Well, this came with a fucking graphics card. That's pretty cool. Well, thanks for the five gifted memberships, Wicked. Go to the Ubisoft site? Why? For what? What's on the Ubisoft site? Oh, for Star Wars Outlaws? Why do you keep saying that? I doubt this is going to be some kind of crazy revelation. You can finance it for $18 a month. Oh, it just lays everything out. I see. I'm going to pull that up in a minute. Middle Earth Shadow of War, Mithril Edition, $300. You get this giant statue. You get an RC car with dirt. Oh, Armored Core had a 450. This is new, too. Is there some Scotia in the Prime 10? The fuck is Project Cars? Assassin's Creed Origins, $800. So you get some art books, a statue, some missions, some skins, the steel book, the sound... Yeah, this is definitely not worth 800 clams. So that one's a huge scam. Thanks for the membership, Nico. The membership, Aramesis. Dark Souls 3 Prestige Edition. Dark Souls 3 had an $800 one? This is a firebox, though. Statue looks pretty cool, too. The steelbook looks nice. Oh, you get two figurines. You get the hardcover art book. I still think $800 is too much for that, though. You, this could have easily been, like, probably back in, like, the 300 range, I would think. Unless these statues are nuts.
Resident Evil 6, $1,300. The worst Resident Evil game. 1300 doubloons for the leather jacket. Yikes. You get three DLC maps as well, I guess. And some stickers. Fuck. Viking turd that was found some years ago? No, I've never heard of that, Heroes. Is this a joke? Grid 2 Mono Edition, $188,000. One person could and did buy a BAC mono road legal supercar kitted out in Grid 2 livery. The lucky buyer also got a tour of the factory in their own racing gear all made to measure. It was Dead Mouse that bought it. Holy shit. Holy shit. Oh yeah, I'm very excited for the Elden Ring DLC. Of course I'll be playing it. Thanks, a resub champ. I haven't seen it yet, Seth, but I did see that they were going to release it. Hot Shot Golf is quite a throwback. So here's Star Wars Outlaws. This is what you get for their their big additions here. Standard is seventy bucks. Gold edition is three day early access and a season pass. And the season passes two DLCs, so some stories and quests, an exclusive Jabba's Gambit mission, and a character pack, which is cosmetics for Kay and Nyx. And then 130 bucks, you get that, plus cosmetics for Kay, Nyx, and the speeder, and then cosmetics for Kay and her blaster. Nix the speeder in the spaceship and a digital art you don't even get a physical art book for that you couldn't even just make like a hardcover art book for 130 bucks yikes Jesus Christ oh yeah you can also lease it for 18 bucks a month if you really want the skins that's thoughtful Oh, of course I saw that, Josh. Paying for a PDF. <laughs> yeah. That's probably the worst fucking top-of-the-line edition I've ever seen. I will agree. That is absolute dog shit. Oh, good point. A hardcover art book you would physically own, and Ubisoft said they don't want that. You are so correct, actually. Darksiders 2 had that sick-ass death mask. I vaguely remember that. Man, Darksiders used to be so good. I miss Darksiders. Darksiders 3 had the Apocalypse Edition, which had four different statues and looks sick. Let's use some NPC. I don't remember that one. Is this it? Because this does look pretty fucking cool. Yeah, I think this is it. It's a giant box. Those do look pretty cool. That's true, HD. Yeah, it is remarkably greedy from Star Wars Outlaws. But, I mean, it's not exclusive to just Ubisoft.